right, so we're here with Transylvania. Uh, guys, great season, great game tonight. Coach, do you want to start us off with some thoughts about the season or this game in general? Yeah, I, you know, well, I, you know, we talked in the locker room. We're really proud of this group. Um, at the beginning of the year, we knew um, this was a, a team that had done a lot of work in the off season to have a special year, um, and we, you know, had to figure things out kind of the first first couple months and found our own groove and our own way to be successful. Uh, and I was really proud of this group. You know, we have. Uh, our sayings on our wall and it's you know work hard show up and be adaptable and that was really what they've done all year um, this group of seniors for four years have been incredible leaders and you know part of being successful is uh, how they treat each other as a group and how much they enjoy it and so um, while we did not necessarily win that game I still would maybe argue that we do have more fun <laughs> or at least as much fun as any other team in the country and so for us that's really important that we show up um, and get better every day and you know outwork people, but that also we enjoy being there um, And so this group has set a great example of doing all of those things Yeah, you guys are down nine with a minute to go making a comeback. What is kind of going through your mind? What are you telling your team as you seniors? What are you telling your other teammates? Well, I, um, yeah, go ahead Macy. I was gonna say a big thing um, that in the locker room at halftime was don't let your head hang down you know, keep your head up, and we dug for so long up until that point, and we had them um, at that point, and so it's just, you know, you just got to get stop after stop. You just got to win the next play, so it's not necessarily all this time. It's just, like, get the next play. Just beat them by two every segment we can. That's what Coach Folk said at halftime, and so that's what we were doing. That's what we were doing, so it was just keep that up, keep that mentality up, and just try to keep getting the ball, getting the next possession, and beating them by two as much as we can. Um, seniors, what did such a successful season mean to you with this team? Um, I think it means everything. I think uh, outside of this group, you know, all of us on our team, I think we've all worked extremely hard to get here. Um, and it just happened to be our senior year that we finally kind of made it. Um, and so I think it really meant a lot to go out like this. Um, I think it shows that hard work does pay off. And um, I think we're really selfless. And so I think that really helps us. We all care about each other and our successes, whether it's on and off the court. And I think that really helps us as a team. And so I think together it really meant a lot to us. You guys had one of the biggest opposing crowds that Thomas Moore has seen <laughs> at home. What did that fan base mean to you today? Um, for us, I mean, Trains is a family. And as a community at Trains, we all support each other. We all support every single game for every single team. And, you know, we have had success that's brought in more teams. But overall, I mean, our school, we're a huge family, and we just love to support each other. And so being able to bring that whole family to us, you know, that really made us a little bit more excited and brought a little bit more energy into us and for the game. So that helped a lot. Do you guys have anything? I'll ask a question. Celia, uh, since you're kind of one of the, uh, the anchors of this offense, um, there's a lot of length to contend with, uh, especially in the first half, it looked like. Whether it was turnovers or lack of airspace, uh, that was a really big challenge to deal with. But as this game continues, you guys kind of handled it like a science experiment. You just solved more problems, and there were, there were more good results as the game went on. Can you describe what that challenge was like as the game unfolded and continued to move in the second half, how you guys kind of cracked the code on Thomas Moore? Yeah, uh, I think I think to start the game, we were beating transit. We were taking down okay. open shots. Um, we were turning the ball over, throwing it to them. We were wearing crimson tonight. Uh, it was kind of confusing at times. So I think uh, I think we were just beating ourselves. And so I think in the second half, we got in the locker room and we relaxed. Um, and, and we played like we know how to play. I think our offense is uh, good to go. You know, we have a uh, great offense and we know what we're doing. And so I think once we relaxed and we knew that our, we were getting good shots, that we kind of settled into our regular position. Looking back now, maybe it's too soon, but what was the most rewarding part about this season and your four-year journey? I think the most rewarding part was I get to be with all these amazing people, and I get to share something that's not a lot of people say that they get to do. And I don't care if it's the Sweet 16, if it's the Final Four, if it's the first round, if it's the conference tournament, I think we all share that gratitude that we get to be together. And so that was the most rewarding part for me. Jacob? Oh yeah, sure. You know, Coach, um, nobody's excited to come up here and play this team. Um, but what we were. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Correction. Um, but how, how um, comforting was it knowing how close you were going to be to home and knowing that you would have that home fan base kind of come up and support you all? Yeah. Well, I mean, I know. We, I think we all knew that eventually we were going to um, end up here. Uh, and 
you know, I think the crowd is honestly a result of people who know when they see something special. And when you show up and watch this team, um, it is a group that instills, you know, kind of a belief in what everything is supposed to be about. They are selfless, they are humble, they are grateful, they have fun, and every night they would show up, you know, through the ups and downs, they stuck together. And when you get to watch that and see it lay out in front of you and see all the battles, um, you know when it's different. Uh, and I think that was really, you know, we're really grateful for our crowd. Um, and we're proud of everything that um, we've been able to do as a group. And, you know, that, that starts at the top down with our president, with our athletic director. But Transy is a special place. Um, and this team was a, you know, a really unique group. And we were thankful and um, proud of the crowd we had following us. All right. Great season, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.